Exotics YouTube channel, everybody. Today we are here with Miyagi, my pure coming eye. She is from the Whiteout line. She was uh, kind of line bred for that gray wash Whiteout there that you're seeing. Very beautiful monitor. Anyway, today's video isn't necessarily just about Miyagi. Um, a lot of guys have been asking me about ultrasounding and my ultrasounding technique. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to track their follicular growth and, you know, a precise time to have more success when you're pairing your monitors. So as you can see, she's kind of swollen right through here. She, this is about 45 days after she's laid her last clutch of eggs. Um, so she's starting to blow back up. That means her follicles are growing and they're probably around the 20 mils, if not larger. So first, we're going to go ahead and set her down here. This is going to be kind of hard. I'm going to be doing it um, with my left hand. So we're going to go in about right here down towards the bottom above her hind leg. Oh, wow. So if you see on the screen, hold on. It's all right, Miyagi. Let's see here. There they are. All right, so we're going to capture right now. All right. Let me hang up my little utensil here. So if you see right here, here is her follicles. And they look pretty good size. I'm going to go to measure... Okay, so she is at 20, we're going to call that 24.3. That's the largest one, so we'll just say 24 millimeter follicles. She is on the verge of actually producing, you know, at that state that it's critical that she has a male around. I've noticed a lot of locks start happening around 28 mils. Um, I've paired as early as 18, and a lot of times I don't have a lot of locks at like that that. Uh, that millimeter of follicle. So we're gonna go ahead and put her in her enclosure. And I got a little surprise for you guys as to what we're going to pair with her. And we'll see how that goes. Some of you will be pretty excited to see this. Ah, uh, Miyagi. Yeah, her, she's just a little irritated with me right now. Come here, girl. All right, beautiful monitor, guys. Look at her. So, as you see, that's it right there. You know, also, um, you know, I want to get into when I separate. We want to see around 40 millimeter follicles when we separate. And then you separate them and typically you will have eggs within 30 days or less. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a brief pause. All right guys, so I just want to run through this process one more time with you so that you for sure get this method down as ultrasounding is a very useful tool when it comes to breeding water monitors or monitors in general. I also ultrasound my croc monitors. But uh, so this is Onyx, our female black dragon. She should be right there at that particular mark of fo follicular growth uh, where it's time to pair. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Again, you're going to go above the hind leg off of the back area on the abdomen here in that soft spot so we're going to get in there and look at the screen oh yeah you see those big circles in the middle of the screen there's a bunch of them those are the start of what we need here to be fertilized to form into good viable eggs those are follicles those are really large ones i would say Let's go ahead and set to measure. There we are, 20, just under 26, that one. Um, oh, let's go ahead and 
Look at some others. There's a nice big one. Catch that. Okay, let's measure. Go on the outside of that circle. Try to go in a straight line all the way across. 28. 28. There we are. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and pair her today. Um, I'm not going to make a video on, you know, the breedings and... Plus, I'm not just doing visual-to-visual -visual pairings. I'm doing a lot of double hat projects, and I'm not letting all my secrets out. So, anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and hopefully I am inspiring some new breeders in the industry. Um, also, you guys can always get a hold of me by Facebook Messenger. You can call me. My phone number is not hard to get. Um, yeah, so, with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap this video up, and... I hope I am inspiring you guys to want to breed water monitors because the it is very frustrating. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the joy of working with the animals one on one is okay when you have time to actually work one on one with your with your monitors. Or that's a very rewarding experience. Also, when you actually are successful with breeding the monitors and you get some good viable eggs. That's a whole nother rewarding experience, let alone when they hatch. When they hatch, let me tell you, nothing like it in, in the entire world, hatching baby Asian water monitors. Um, they're just, it's next level from any other reptile that I've ever produced. And I've produced, you know, dozens of different species of reptiles. Nothing, nothing compares to the baby water monitors, you know, teaching them, socializing them. Just getting them, you know, ready for their new homes and playing with them. It's it's an amazing experience. And you you guys, I would like for you to experience it as well. Um, if you can't, you know, watch my, watch my videos and, uh, you know, I share my experiences with you guys. But it's still, it's not the same until you do it in person. So, with that being said, I hope you... Uh, you know, hit that like button, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you later, my reptilians.